Hello, Troop Cookie Managers. This video is just going to be a quick walkthrough of how to place a cookie covered order in eBuddy. I'm on my Troop dashboard, and now I'm going to go to the Transactions tab. No. Scratch that. Take four. Hello, Troop Cookie Managers. This video is just going to be a quick walkthrough of how to place a cookie covered order. I'm looking at my Troop dashboard, and I see that this weekend we've got three booth sales coming up. I just want to make sure the girls have enough cookies for both those, for all three of those booth sales. And so I'm going to go ahead and place a cookie covered order. And the first thing I do is go to the transactions tab. I'm going to add a transaction. And then this cookie transaction window pops up. It is going to be a covered order. And we're adding product. So the next thing to do is to choose the covered. And I know the closest covered to us is the Greenwood Village covered. And once I click on that, hours of operation pop up and special notes from the cookie covered manager pop up here in this window. The other thing to note is that cookie covered orders need to be placed at least 72 hours in advance of picking up the cookies, which means tonight is Tuesday, it's 7.39, and I'd like to pick up the cookies Friday evening so that we're ready to go for booth sales over the weekend. So let's take a look. Yes, this co cookie cupboard is gonna be open on the 7th, which is Friday from 7 to 8 p.m. Ooh, I'm just in the nick of time. So let me go ahead and select the cookies that I'd like. And I'll get some extra packages of lemon ups. And I want to be sure and add the time and date that I want to pick up in this window. So Friday the 7th, and then I'll change the hour by sliding this bar to 7 p.m. and make it a 7.30 pickup. Click done. It's all set. So if I were actually placing this order, I would click save and print. And once you do that, if you need to alter anything on the order, you'll have to contact the cookie cupboard manager directly because you won't be able to edit the order once you've hit save and print. That's it. Easy peasy.